Hi guys, this is Jess with your all signs. Can you reach your goals? Guys, honestly, um, my some of the videos that I'm going to be pulling out, we will focus on love and those sorts of things too. Uh, but I want to focus on things that moves the needle forward, moves you forward, moves us forward. And how do we get there, right? Uh, people are going to be more in pursuit of their own goals, where they're going in life. How do they get there? And um, not so much worrying about the other person. And so with that, I'm feeling that myself and I'm more interested in these types of topics, you know, um, how do we improve ourselves and move our needle forward to get to our ultimate pursuit of happiness and satisfaction. So hopefully you'll find this informative um, and you'll like the videos that are coming out in the near future. Let's get into the read. If you want to skip ahead to your sign, do check out the timestamps in the description box below all the way at the bottom you'll find the timestamps. You could also find the two-month future predictions read if you want to look at December, the rest of November, December, and I look at every subject and area in your life. Let's get into the reading. We're going to start with Aries. These are quick, guys. Um, that was a long-ass intro, but let's get into Aries. These are quick. Aries, um, what's distracting you? Can you reach your goals? Yes. Absolutely. You certainly can reach your goals. What do you need to do? You need to get very clear about what you're doing, where you're going, where you're headed and be clear. If you got to have to cut people out along the way, hopefully you're not cursing them out. But if you have to, you have to do what you need to do. Draw a line in the sand, cut them out, burn a bridge. You do what you need to do. Get very clear. Be focused. Um, make your decision and stick with it. I'm so also first thing I got was you need to focus on one thing and one thing only. What's been a distraction? Too much doing too much, um, acting and not thinking, um, not really processing what you're doing, allowing too much to happen. And I also feel, um, giving people opportunities to come into your space and they may be helping muck stuff up for you. So, you know, you guys are good at being your own person and, and pursuing things in, as an individual, you may need to get back there. As a matter of fact, I know you're getting back there. So less kind of um, head first, um, jump first, think last, less of that, more thinking first, cutting out whatever needs to be in order for you to move forward and pursue your goals because you damn sure not only can you do it, you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's what I have for Aries. Now let's get into Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Um, I want you to listen to this. This is a major message for you. Now, you know, some of you Pisces, you're going to heed the call. Others of you are going to probably think it's a joke until you have you be forced to heed the call. Can you pursue your goals? Yes. Very specifically, Pisces, you need to put work in. Because there either has been a lot of challenges or issues. It's a huge wall. You're trying to get on the other side of that wall. Well, you need to break it down. You need to bust it down. And that, that wall could be fear. It could be laziness. It could be people. It could be anything that has now hindered you from moving and attaining your goals. So what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to bust it down, bust the laziness down, bust the fear down, bust the negative and toxic people down, bust all of that stuff down and move forward in your goals. Why? Because some of you, what's been hindering you? Love. Love has been hindering you, putting too much energy, effort into others. Um, also, thinking and dreaming and fantasizing about stuff rather than physically getting out there and doing it. So it's saying for you to do just that, get out there and physically do it because you are going to accomplish your goals, but it's going to take work. Why do I say this so sternly? Because you do know you have Saturn going into your sign top of 2023, right? And it will be in your sign for the next two and a half years. So wherever you've been daydreaming, being lackadaisical, your bubble is going to bust because Neptune has been there as well. Go look up Saturn conjunct Neptune and Pisces and to give you a head heads up of what you're going to have to deal with. So this is coming whether you like it or not, getting a head start of it, being done with the emotional things and the dream like state and getting focused and, and getting physical your goals will be accomplished what I have for Pisces now let's look at Aquarius and thank you guys I'm so sorry that I always get 
I do your your sign last. I'm going to try to be more conscious of doing you first. I do understand that. I wouldn't like the shit either. So thank you for still hanging in there with me. Let's get into Aquarius. Aquarius, will you reach your goal? For some of you, in order to reach this goal, you're going to have to get back to basics, right? You're going to have to, for some of you, you may have to make others and other situations more of a focus, um, and nurture. This is all about nurturing that goal. You need to put time in it, energy, kind of like a parent. You know, you have to put when you become a parent, you're, it's no longer about you. It's not about you. It's not supposed to be. Um, of course, there's this balance that you really should have where it's partly you still you know, you don't lose yourself completely, but you also obviously have to incorporate another person in your life and you have to nurture that person. Right. Because they depend on you to be able to suffice themselves in this world on a lot of ways, mental, emotional, physically, spiritually, that sort of thing. So you have to nurture them. Right. And so with your goals, you've got to nurture it. You've got to spend time, take the time and put in the time to grow it right? And focus on it. Why? Because what is hindering you is that for some of you, you've been putting too much time and attention into you. Um, You may have been living high and living grand off of an accomplish you've made, right? Well, yeah, I've made, I've accomplished this. I've, you know, that sort of thing. Let me just give you an example. I think that'd be more helpful. Let's say you were a single person and you have amassed many things in life. You've accomplished several things in life. I'm sorry, you see a commercial going on. (laughs) Hold on, guys. So you've accomplished several things in your life. You may be loveless. You may have always wanted to be married and be into something very committed. But you never take the time to really nurture a relationship. It's saying get out of this selfish uh, place and become more selfless and nurture and put the time, energy and effort into nurturing things. Right. So that's what it's saying for you to to do. But whatever this is, the goal that you want in life is going to require you being more nurturing of it and less. um, It's saying to nurture it more. And kind of pull back off of still reeling and partying in the effects of whatever goals you've reached thus far. Does that make sense? Because I feel for a lot of you Aquariuses out there that I'm speaking to, you may have had monetary or tangible successes in life, but you've never had um, intangible successes in life. And that could be relationships, children, family, the things that are more important. So it's, it's requiring you to do that. And that's where your ultimate Happiness seems like it lies. That's what I have for Aquarius. Um, Now let's look at Taurus. (laughs) Taurus, can you pursue your goals? Yes, you can pursue your goals. Um, You need to start trying some things. You need to step outside the box and see what else you can do and kind of pursue it in a way where, you know, you're just trying it out. Um, and give it the time and be patient to see where it's coming. For some of you, it's cultivating an emotional connection with someone and being patient enough to see that grow. Um, I kind of have to tell you, like I just told Aquarius, that money isn't everything, right? Because what's hindering you is money. Some of you may have amassed a lot of your tangible things, money, house, car, you know, the tangible things that you can't take with you off this earth, off this earth. Uh, but you may have amassed that, but you're still not fulfilled. For some of you, you may feel like I want to try something different. Yeah, try something fucking different and be patient with it because it's going to take some time for you to value it. You know that. And if it's You've been working yourself into the ground and yeah, you have those things. It's now time for you to give love a chance. Now it's time for you to give maybe other relationships a chance with others um, and take the time and be patient in order for you to cultivate something new. For some of all of you be different. Some of you may want love and you need to really cultivate that. But patience is what is required there. Um, and for others of you, it may just be, I need to try something completely new. I'm tired of this career. I'm tired of this business. Let me incorporate something new, inject a new energy into it. You have to be patient, but definitely do something that speaks to your heart, right? That's what I have for Taurus. Now let's look at um, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, can you reach your goals? Yes, you can reach your goals. This is aligning with another. Um, This can be in pursuit of your goals. You may need to pursue them where another person is involved. 
Um, some of you, your goal could be making life happier and healthier for you, your children, or a love relationship. For some of you, your goal is love and loving someone and uh, being loved by someone. But what's hindering you is waiting. Some of you are waiting for someone from your past. Um, so you're still waiting and it's saying to be done with the waiting and just move forward in your life because love will be coming your way um, if love is what your goal is. And it is still going to be a step-by-step -step process, right? So you can accomplish your goals, but you need to leave the past behind in order to welcome in newness. Now, if this is nothing about love, it's still saying for you to stop waiting and to actually be in pursuit of your goals. As you move in pursuit of your goals, you are going to attract people who are like-minded people who want the same things that you want. And although it may be more support coming your way rather than them putting up money or, or them physically doing something to help pursue your goals, but they may be able to help you in some kind of way that really will be beneficial in you reaching your goals. So no more waiting around for the past or no more waiting for fear of um, it's saying, because that could be hindering you is saying to align yourself when others come in or just move on because others will come in and that will prove positive. That's what I have for Sagittarius. Now let's look at Capricorn. Well, you know, this is always a question for Capricorn. Will I reach my goals? I, I hear that all the time with my Sagittarius, with my Capricorn clients. Will I reach my goals? Capricorns are my kind of people because they a lot of my Capricorn clients over the years, they want to know about money, career, and how can I reach my goals? They may talk, talk about love. They may not even think about love, but it is the goals. Can you reach them? Yes. Um, as a matter of fact, deep down inside, you know you can. You have the confidence, the wherewithal, the ability to do just that. Okay. You absolutely can reach your goals. If you do, if you get rid of what's hindering you, probably by August of next year, you would have accomplished your goals. You need to let go of the past, whether it was your fault, their fault, whoever did what, doesn't matter at this point. Scorpio season, great time to let the past go. Um, even if someone has passed on and it's been hard for you to, you haven't been the same since, it's saying to disconnect. Because if it's a person that has physically left this earth, You'll, you'll meet them one day um, and you still have to cultivate the relationships here on earth. Others of you, whatever whatever accomplishments didn't go through, failures that you have um, had to deal with, that's the past. That has what has happened before. Doesn't mean it's happening still. So reconcile the loss, okay, so that you can then align yourself with the confidence and the success that awaits you. This is a great card to get when it comes to goals and reaching them and being successful overall. Um, not letting go of the past and hangups is going to lead you here in this place that is never comfortable and a happy place to be stubborn, stuck in your way and unable to move forward. Um, and then that could just implode in, on itself. So Get confident, um, move forward, reconcile your past, good, bad, or indifferent, and watch and see the successes come. That's what I have for Capricorn. Now let's look at Scorpio. Scorpio, can you reach your goals? Yes, you can. Um, you, the Scorpios that I know, they, when they don't love what they're doing, they can even fall into depression. Um, so you need to find for yourself what is your goal and do you love it? How does it make you feel? Because it's something about it needing to make you feel right for it to be right and for you to want to be in pursuit of your goals, okay? And it doesn't matter if you see a king of cups here and you're a woman. It's just saying that you can pursue your goals and it will be something that means a lot to you, that means the most to you. So what is that for you? Because I feel like some of you are still in this exploratory phase. For some of you, you've put, in, you've put so much importance and another person that you may be completely lost as to what your own goals and pursuits of happiness is. But if you release 
this false sense of victory, this false sense of I'm okay, this false sense of everything is fine and I've accomplished things. It's kind of the same as I think I was saying Aquarius and definitely I was saying to Taurus is that newness is calling for you. You want something, you want to do something new. Your goals is in something that really sings, make your heart sings that you can, that you feel very, very passionate about, uh, that you love, that your heart is in it. Um, and although there's whatever this is, it brought has brought victory and success, but it's hollow, right? Because it can make you more egotistical to some extent. Um, so for some of you, your goals um, and, and can you reach them? Yes, but it requires more compassion and it requires you tapping more into, do I love this? Is my heart in it? That type of thing. That's what I have for Scorpio. Hopefully it made sense to you guys. I felt, I don't know, but hopefully it did. Now let's get into Libra. Can you pursue, can you reach your goals, Libra? Well, I feel like you guys probably are in this stage where you're not really going after a goal. Even going after a specific goal could be a bit frustrating. Um, you may have other things going on. It's like, shit, I just have to, I have to do this. I can't even, I have no other room to put another goal on my plate <laughs> for some of you. Um, or I just have a lot going on and I don't have the mental capacity to deal with a goal, okay? Um, so it's saying for some of you to, you're gonna have to temper yourself and get to a place of peace internally, more specific mentally, so that you can narrow down what this goal is and how best to approach it. What's hindering you? It could be a physical person that you've depended on for so long that now you don't have a goal or you don't know what goal um, would make you happy. Uh, for some of you, it is that you're so caught up, like, you know, I work so much, I, I'm working so damn much <laughs> that this is, I'm almost like a slave to um, work and making money and that sort of thing, right? And I may be fearful to pursue pursue a goal and a goal may not be anything tangible. It could be love. It could be getting back in alignment with family. It could be helping others, doing charity work, who knows. But because you're so engrossed in in this side of life, right, the tangible side of life that you, your mind may not be clear enough for you to be able to obtain those other sides of life that brings you full fulfillment. So it's saying for you to disconnect from trying to feed the beast because that's what this is, is feeding the beast and so your mind could be quiet enough for you to tap back into what a goal would be for you that's what i have for libras now let's look at gemini gemini can you pursue your goals well one can you do both because you may have two different goals that you're trying to pursue um you may be indecisive like i don't really know if this is ultimately my goal and I should focus on it and will it bring me ultimate happiness um you're not so sure I know that what you need to do and what's hindering you is um not letting something go and moving forward some of you need to let something go whether it be you need to spend this money in order to get this go <laughs> um you need to let go of whatever dot 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 and that'll free up a lot of um, space for you to focus on those goals and move forward toward your goals. I feel like this may be overwhelming try to, trying to do two. So for some of you, you may need to drop one so that you can focus on just the other. And then you'll find yourself 100% reaching your goal. But the biggest challenge for some of you Geminis will be making a decision of which one you should be more in pursuit of. Don't worry, because you could always go back and do the other one. So it's not one or the other. It's just one over the other right now. That's what I have for Gemini's. Now let's look at Cancer. Can you pursue your goals, Cancer? I'll, yes. Um, right now, you feel like some of you, I, I'm just going to say it, you may feel empty. You may, you know, whatever this loss is, like you're really going, it's affecting you quite a bit. Um, and you may need to do this. Um, you have to give into these emotions. This is part of your purging. 
Um, for some of you, you may be wanting somebody to help you, come save you, assist you, hear my call. I, I'm in need. Um, but this time around, whatever this goal is, you may have it may be all on you to do. It may be difficult because in order for you to pursue this goal, you've got to cut things out. You know, what's hindering you is either um, what's hindering you may be your tongue, your mouth that has gotten you in trouble. And now you no one's there to help. It could be, you know, not realizing that you don't need others and that you just need to come to a conclusion on your own, which cancers, cancers know this. I mean, cancers are nothing to play with. When cancers put their mind to something, it's happening. <laughs> They're doing it. Uh, so some of you may have lost this natural ability because you could be in mourning. Um, and that's fine. You know, it's a process, but it's saying for you not to necessarily linger here because uh, what could be hindering, hindering you is not getting clarity, cutting things out so that you can move forward and be in pursuit of your goals. I mean, you know, when you've lingered for too long and you have um, now it's going into a place where it's not so healthy. You know that for yourself or you should know that. Um, so when it gets to that place of just like, OK, it's a lot. It'll be time for you to say, OK. I'm done. I'm cutting it out and I'm in pursuit of my goals. And when you do that and you get out of your emotional state, but you get more in your logical, practical state. Well, you know what happens, cancer. <laughs> you win, as always. So when I have cancer, now let's look at Leo. Leos, can you um, accomplish your goals? What Leo can't? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, you can. Of course you can. Uh, you guys always have the Midas touch. Your creativity is bar none. I mean, the Lord gave you guys, you were first in line with creative ability. We all know that. You and Cancer's Cancer's right behind you, in my opinion. But yes, you can um, cr uh, create your world however you want it, because this is literally creating things um, at will and being very magical and being able to, you know, do it and manifest things. So yeah, you can definitely accomplish your goals. You guys, what's hindering you is, first of all, um, what's hindering you, I feel, is just do things. And for some of you, you may feel a little bit scared. I get scared because you don't want people to find out certain things some of you are way too damn controlling way too controlling and you need to be more malleable you need to be more flexible that's what this is all about malleable flexible going with the flow but at the same time never losing losing focus of what you're pursuing and what you're creating what you're manifesting right because these are contradictory energies so you kind of have to be magical and we as we know magical is of the ethers is not on it's not of this earth but this energy is very much of this earth so you have to let this go so that you can reach your goal and be kind of like that peter pan you know i know leos to be like that like they'll get very whimsical in their goals and their dreams and their aspirations and then they'll approach it in a very practical concrete sort of way but try not to be so dogmatic try not to be so controlling that you lose sight of the magic that you are able to manifest okay because you have a lot of power i don't know if you guys hear the more mowing in the back in the background sorry if you do but you have a lot of power you're very magical you know that leos but you still need to uh, continue to inject that light-hearted magical energy so that your goals come to you very easily like they tend to do even though you are a very hard worker as well that's what i have for leos now let's get into virgo virgo can you reach your goals again what virgo can't right um yes you can but life right now has taken a turn where you have a lot going on. Um, you may not. You may be a little confused. Like I think I told Gemini. Yeah, definitely, because they have the same card. So you may be a little bit perplexed or a lot going on. You juggling a lot. There's a lot going on. So it's hard for you to pinpoint or even focus specifically on your goal. But what's hindering you? Love. Some of you are trying to pursue a goal and do love. Love could be your goal, but then you have a whole lot of other shit going on. You may be trying to juggle 50 million people. You don't want to just focus on one person. Listen, if your goal is love, focus on one. You're going to have to focus on one to cultivate that goal. Um, 
if you guys and you and it's a gamble it's a gamble some of you just don't want to take the gamble but it is a gamble if it is other things um, then love is getting in the way and you may need to take a step back pull back a bit um, if you cannot find the balance because this is having a balance but it also could be where balance gets out of control or you don't really see progress because you're doing it's too much going on right so it's saying to pull back if it's not love if it's if it's other goals that you're pursuing, pull back from love and give these things some time um, or try to, again, find the balance as much as possible. Others of you, it may be less about money, less about going after and acquiring uh, the tangible things and focusing more on love. And that means that you're going to have to pick one person. You're going to have to pick that person. You're going to have to take the time. This is really taking time. It's It's mutual, but it could it's only the two of cups doesn't mean it's you know it's a forever thing but it is taking the time and enjoying the situation and living in the moment to pursue the goal of love that's what i have for you guys hopefully this has been helpful check me back on the next one take care guys